97 to 93, the final score. Campbellsville falls short to Georgetown here tonight. Matt Payton at the Powell Center visiting now with the head coach of the Tigers, Brent Vernon. And coach, these are the games that you love to be a part of. Number one, number 15, and look like the, the Tigers, the maroon and gray Tigers would come out on the right side of this. Just that last three and a half minutes went ice cold offensively. We did, but you know, we were also up seven or eight. We made some mental mistakes late that really hurt us. We, uh, they got some points off of offensive rebounds. So, again, if you shore that up and, and secure those two rebounds, that two-possession game, they got a three off of one of them or an and one off of one of them and a layup of another. That's five points that if we secure, it doesn't get to that. Um, but, again, they're number one. They're the number one team and the very good offensively. They're number one for a reason. I was very proud of our guys. We battled hard for 40 minutes, I'm going to say. You know, I, I wasn't thrilled with our week of practice, so I was a little of unsure of how we would come out and play, but we definitely uh, stepped up and responded. They came out with a quick uh, run to start the second half, and a part of me is like, here we go, but, but we responded with a run of our own, and, you know, we, we took a lead, sort of reminiscent to last year at the house, and uh, we just couldn't make enough plays late. And, and, again, a team like them that's very good, you know, they, they, they hurt us when we made our mistakes. The, the first half, they go to the locker room, they've hit 8 of 12, threes, uh, what's the message to the team? Certainly you don't expect them to do that again, and they didn't, uh, which kind of helped you. You pulled their, their field goal percentage all the way down to 46 for the game after they were up around 53 in the first half. Well, some of the shots they made were very tough shots in the first half, but then some of them were defensive mistakes. And in the second half, we didn't make nearly as many defensive mistakes on, on the shooters. We made the mistakes on securing a rebound here and there, but we didn't make mistakes on shooters. And, and I, I didn't think they would continue to shoot it at the clip they were, and, and they didn't. But again, again, when you're playing a team as a Georgetown, a team that's ranked one nationally, you have to be as close to perfect as you can. And, and for probably 30 to 32 minutes, we were really good, but the last six, seven, eight, we just didn't do quite enough right. Adam Stanford was unreal tonight for you, Coach. I think that's the, you know, when you, you brought Adam in, the transfer from Kentucky Wesleyan, you knew these were the games that he was capable of from time to time. And tonight he, he picked a good night to have one, 25 points, 11 of 14. He was everything you needed knowing that Andrew Smith was going to be, uh, you know, a little hit or miss with the, the sickness that he'd been battling. Adam did a good job. And, and, you know, he's a constant in practice, shows up every day, battles hard. You know, he's had a little bit up and down here lately, was, was in the starting lineup early. Uh, came down with an injury and stuff, and then Andrew came in and started playing so well. It was nothing that Adam did to lose that starting spot, but I felt like our rotations were better, and Andrew was playing so well. I didn't want to shake things up, and then, you know, Andrew gets sick this week, and Adam go <coughs> comes in and steps right in, does what you want a senior to do, and, and I respect him so much for taking what we've given him and, and never complaining about it or pouting. Uh, and I think it shows the sign of a good team whenever you have somebody who's missed a whole week of practice and d doesn't get as many minutes as he normally does and you have another guy step in and you don't miss a beat with it. You had some, some other guys tonight just uh, struggle a bit from the floor and maybe that's one uh, one area that you can find a little solace in. Hagen Tyler struggled a bit from the floor and, and Tim Coleman struggled a bit tonight just uh, shooting the basketball and credit Georgetown made, some, made them make difficult shots at times, but that's something uh, you don't expect those guys to do that very often. Not too much, and again, Hagen, playing against Georgetown for the last two years. They're game planning for him, and you can tell they're chasing him around, they're face guarding, making it tough on him. Tim went he went through some ups and downs. I'm gonna say first time in this in this game and environment since he's been uh, at our school, and it, it was probably a good learning experience for him. He made some good plays late. I'm gonna say it, it was just one of those games that you're not always gonna be at your best, and and we weren't always. Our guys never stopped competing, though, so for that, I'm, again, very proud. You get a few days off, and then uh, you start to get into the, some of the road trips here, Cumberland and uh, life. Congratulations. I guess this, is, this conference, there are no easy ones. It's, it's like that week in and week out. Zero easy, I'm going to say. I told our guys before the game, it, it was an opportunity for us to come up and play the number one team in the nation, but I said, regardless, win or lose, it's one game. And we can't sit there and make this our season. There's no way it can because next week we're playing Cumberland on the road, 24 in the nation. Honestly, it'll be a tougher game than this one because we're on the road. It's never Life is never easy on the road, and it's almost when you win on the road, it's like stealing one. And, and to do that, you have to be totally focused and, and totally ready. And then we get to go to uh, Life, who was the runner-up last year, <coughs> excuse me, in the national championship. Our, our conference, one through eight, some conferences are lucky and they'll have 10, 8, 10, 12 teams, and you get to that 8 to 12 or whatever, 
and you have some built-in winds. We have zero. There's no built-in winds in the Mid-South, and, and that's what our guys have to realize. Yes, be disappointed. I want you to be disappointed. But the next 13 games are every bit as big as this one to try to get to our, our goal of trying to compete for a conference championship and, and hopefully make it out to Kansas City at the end. Well, a four-point loss at home to number one, certainly not one that's going to uh, keep you from going to Kansas City if it comes down to that. That's, that's for certain. Well, Coach, uh, tough one here today, but I look forward to Thursday night at Williamsburg. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. Coach Brent Vernon and the Tigers come up a bit short here tonight as they fall to Georgetown College, the number one team in the country by a final score of 97-93. to 93.